It's the last of the snow. It's the slush. The season of slush. Look at all this slush. I like to drive through the slush. That's pretty much the extent of our winter. Yeah, that's we're, our winter. We're done. <laughs> so, uh, bring on spring. Well, this is awesome. We picked the perfect day to come to the recycling center. Woohoo! Score! Valentine's Day at the recycling center. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, honey. <laughs> Truck has gone through hell the last couple days here. Big ass piece of oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't see any damage, so that's a good thing. We we're going through the snow and we hit this. This is covered in snow. <laughs> and we were like, how did that get there? Some snow plow or whatever plowed it and they shouldn't have. I'm going to stay like a little bit away from you because. You're splitching and splashing. Won't you. you won't get me? Oh, there, go, go play. Go play. Go play. Oh, well, get out of the middle of the road. I don't want to get out of the middle of the road. <laughs> okay, stay in the middle of the road and don't play. <laughs> All right, we're here at Tractor Supply Company today to try and find uh, some feed for the chicks because, you know, we have to keep our chickens fed. But look at this there's a barn, bird feeder. Nobody else would look at it. This, haunted this, house. It does look like a haunted house. <laughs> we could make a haunted house bird feeder. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, look, look. The haunted west. Haunted stuff. Haunted stuff. Old stuff. It's old stuff just old is stories. just. Oh, Buffalo Bill. Old stuff is just haunty anyway, right? Because it's old. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's history. History is haunted? No. <laughs> So we're back home, uh, the chickens, I'm not sure if you guys can see them, but uh, Angie cleared like just a little path for them to uh, to explore or whatever, because they are not having the snow at all. They don't like it. So Angie's gonna go and make another little path for them. I'm like, just make a circle. That way they'd have to like go around in a circle. That'd be so neat. That'd be neat to see. Okay, so what, what are you? You know, you sound like E.T. when you do that, Buffy. 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 You sound like E.T. Well, in case you guys are wondering about the time lapse that's going over there, it is still going over there. So when we're all done, hopefully, I don't know what kind of film or video it's going to be, but hopefully we will have the snow coming and the snow melting. As long as we can keep the camera from getting wet. So we have made a... Uh, a um, trail over here. Angie's made a trail for all the chickens. And they're all right back. Yo, you see what I mean about that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, now that I've said that, you guys are like, see what I mean about what? As the uh, ice has come down, there hasn't been enough support right here. I wasn't anticipating ice. So as the snow has melted down, this right here has sagged a little bit. So I'm gonna need to uh, support it just a little bit. From all the snows. Poppy, don't even think about it. She wants to eat the chicken. Hey, 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 yeah. Oh, it went down my front. Ah, thanks, babe. Happy Ooh. Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> all of your face. Oh. Ah, it seriously went down my. Oh. Down your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Two can play this game. <laughs> You're gonna have to fix that. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting like a trickle of water. I wasn't expecting the massive uh, pressure from ice. So, okay, not a big deal. Oh, there they are. They're making the gauntlet. I love you. Speaking of love. <gasps> Happy Valentine's Day. Woo. Happy Valentine's Day. Our first Valentine's Day underneath the same roof. And 
pretty. Um, oh my gosh, and she just got through getting dog pretty, hair uh, all over here. All too. over her. Oh my gosh, you're all hairy now. She's gonna get it on me. Watch. Oh, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. Snuggle you. Oh, you see, see, told ya. Oh God. Oh. Do you love me? Yes, I love you. I don't love the dog hair. I'm not crazy about the dog hair. <laughs> I come with dog hair. Uh, oh, good. He's eating. <laughs> Okay, um, so we are, oh, I thought that, oh man, I don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, this is for the House on Fire vlog the other day. We're doing COC in case. Not as far back as we are. Yeah, I know. I, I keep meaning every night to do COC and to catch up, but. Ketchup? Mustard. Yeah. Ketchup and mustard? Cheeseburgers? Cheeseburgers? Oh, okay. cake. It it's dry. That's because you have so much hair on it. Uh, You're so starting to itch like Buffy. Oh. Yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, tell me about it. No? No. Okay, I guess we're done. Okay. Okay, so, Aloha Lara. Does the fire department there not have yard fire regulations? It looks like they were burning stuff they shouldn't have been because the smoke was so black. I agree. Yes and yes. You can't burn trash in your backyard. That's a no-no. And uh, I mean, and then purely for the environmental reasons too. I mean, a house fire is bad enough when it actually happens, all the toxins and everything. And actually, I've known a couple people that have had house fires. They wanted to save some of the stuff that was in the house and they would not let them do it because of the tox toxicity of it. Is that a word? Did I say that right? Mm, yeah. Thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and I think that's that's all we, we did on that one um, because I want to move through these. New intro, this is on the Wednesday that we had Phoenix, I'm pretty sure. And guys, do me a favor, I thumbs up our own videos because, you know, obviously I think they're good because if they didn't, I wouldn't put them out. But um, if you guys ever see a thumbs down and you don't normally thumbs up, make sure you give us a thumbs up to counteract it. Oh, God. What? Okay, I am going to do newest first, and I am going to flip through every one, and let's see, Francis Royer, good day, evening, Troy and Angie. Uh, Mr. Barot, you said that new intro was interesting. <laughs> you thought that it would be more uh, dark music, rocking intro, maybe uh, pointing towards the haunting genre. Um, well, at least that one there had a couple of maple leaves in, in autumn going down. I'm just looking for something different than what we've been using um, because it's we've been using it for a while now and in fact the intro that I made that dun, 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 that intro was me literally just throwing something together I took the logo faded it in faded it out found a real short clip of music and that was the intro so doing something a little bit better is better in my opinion uh, Bren listening to Troy complain about working in the snow come down to Massachusetts it's been getting snow almost too every snowy. other day. Yeah, too snowy. Too much, man. Uh, Jolson, our highs are 20 below Fahrenheit because we don't use communists here in America, LOL. Okay, let me tell you something. We are one of the yeah. three countries careful, in Jolson. the world. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> three countries in the world that still use the imperial... Get with the times. <laughs> Celsius is so much easier. In fact, tonight I changed our thermostat to Celsius. It's just so much easier. I didn't ask him to. No, she didn't. I, I've changed everything. The The truck reads Celsius because now I am by temperature lingual. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My I mean, parents last night we were over there like, yeah, it's uh, it's two degrees. It's like, around zero. It's about, you know, last night was minus three and they're like, what? <laughs> especially one, especially my dad. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, Halloween Free said cool new intro. Thank you. Real fan Jason, Troy just got his ass voluntold. <laughs> That's when I put the camera outside for the time lapse, which I've already explained that we haven't pulled that yet. Oh. Yeah, and I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that, um... It's alive? The camera's still alive. <laughs> it was as of this afternoon, but it's supposed to rain, and it's pretty covered. It's got the flap there. It should be okay. Fingers crossed. I really hope it's going to be okay. Um, and then this is the uh, the vlog that we lost uh, our chicken, Anne. And uh, first of all, I'll say thank you, everybody, for your condolences. I know it was only a chicken, and I know that we named her, and we grew even more attached because we freaking saved her the first time. 
Um, but, yeah, you know, she's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm an emotional guy. I wear my heart on my sleeve. In fact, all the time, we'll be watching something, it'll be, my neck hurts. So that's why I have to do the, yeah. the, the whole turn of the body thing. I don't know what's going on. Um, but we'll, we'll be watching something, and it'll be like, I don't know, kids getting reunited with their parents or something emotional like that. And I'll be like, <laughs> over here trying to hold it back because it's emotional you know if you can feel what other people feel then i don't know i just feel that you're that much more in touch with with society and i don't know anyway um uh jay bernard the third i like today's new intro a lot of you guys like that and that's why i'm i'm using the second one we'll use it for a while and then if you guys ever want to create one please go for it do it i would be happy to um See what you guys come up with. Jolson just rotisserie her and move on. Tastes like chicken. A chicken that tastes like chicken. Hmm. Oh, uh, Pinky the cat. I did uh, let your post go through on the Facebook page. If you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, down uh, in the comments below, Beyond Ten Thirty One Facebook group page. Join it. It's all about the vlog. That's what we talk about. And you said that you're picking up your rings tomorrow. She gave us Aww. a picture, and I posted a picture of Aww. her new wedding ring. So that was really special. Uh, Nick Gerald. Hey, Troy and Angie. How was y'all day? Mine was fine. Thank mm -hmm. you. It was great. Uh, Bren, you say that intro today is perfect. And where in the heck are your knee pads? Yeah, Troy, you're Troy. not getting any younger. You got to protect your body. Rant over. And I knew naming the chickens was a bad idea. <laughs> um, I don't have knee pads yet. I tried to find some, but I just haven't gotten any yet. Uh, Railfan Jason had to go back and watch it. I totally missed the intro yesterday, but I like the one today better. Also, sorry about Anne never easy losing her little friends. Maybe bury her next to popcorn. I was thinking of, because she's been, like, preserved in the backyard now. I was thinking of um, burying her in the... Compost area. <laughs> in in where we're gonna plant strawberries. Not in the strawberry but mix, but down below. Ow. You be digging forever to get down far enough. It's full of rocks back there. I will dig. And I will dig. It's either that or the trash can. No, it looks like that. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Halloween for I don't know which intro I like better because the one yesterday reminds me more of the old time Halloween Hellmouth intros because of all the leaves and, and the fall. Excuse me. Whew. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. <laughs> um, but I like this one today because it's uh, family-oriented. Yeah, I saw that, and I was very happy that they uh, also gave us that intro. Uh, Lady Riv, you said 1,000% this intro. Um, what else? Um, oh, uh, Wolf Spain Hollow. Uh, Pat, you say, sorry about the, the chick chick. Because you made pets of them rather than livestock. She's <laughs> <laughs> um, a special girl. Bury her. Uh, Aloha Lara. You said that Anne was a special girl. Bury her. It was her yard and her home. Bury her deep and plant a rose bush over her. I like that idea. Do you? Right. Yeah. And what else? Um, Mr. Bro says both intros were good. We should actually do this live, like commenting. Uh, never mind. That's too much pressure. Too much. Too much pressure. Maybe we could do it live one time. That would be kind of neat. Um, because then I won't be sitting sitting here saying, um, and I watched a video today with a newer YouTuber, and he was explaining something, and he was like, um, 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 yeah, um, um, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you sound like a bee. Stop. Um. God. <laughs> Ben Massey, I like the pictures intro today, but either one is fine. Possibly do an intro for each of the seasons. The one from yesterday reminds me of fall. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's not a bad idea. Oh my gosh, you guys are so awesome. So, so many comments, so little time. Uh, Caroline, Canadian gal. <laughs> Got it right this time. Uh, enjoy the long weekend and Valentine's Day, Hellions. We celebrated last night as hubby had to go back on the road today. Um, oh, I hope that he stays safe out there because I know there are a lot of roads out there very, very treacherous. And yes, we have seen the videos from Texas and we've seen everything. We've been watching the news like every night for the past two, three weeks yeah, now, I guess. Yeah, a lot of it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> Not enough vaccines. 
for any country. <laughs> People getting upset, insurrections, all the stuff that we don't like to talk about on the vlog because, you know, everybody yeah. has their own opinion. We watch it, but we don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we talk about it. Yes. We don't talk about no, it. No, we don't talk okay. about it. <laughs> but we talk about this. Uh, Keeper Fuzzy Ears, I agree with Mr. Brot. Today's intro is better. Uh, Richard Rice, would it be too much to get the chicken stuffed and put it on top of the fireplace mantle and then she will really be a part of the family? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that would God, be that's too a, much. That'd be creepy, but could we do that to her and use her in a haunted house? Not really, because chickens aren't all that scary. Oh, oh no. no. I don't know. Have you ever met a chicken in a dark alley at night? I, I haven't either. I don't know. What <laughs> <laughs> the Grinch, who? We didn't film it, but we stopped by and we said hi today. Yeah, we did. And, we and, did a, and he's a drive by. A drive by honk wave. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> um, and you say, uh, fun to see your snow fun and pups. And okay, so that's it from, from that one, which was we lost a chicken. Two more to go. Whew, my goodness. Bam, bam. Oh, thumbs down. So I got to make sure I thumbs that up. And, um, da, da, da. Scott Falls, come to Manitoba and do donuts with your SUV. <laughs> I'll do donuts anywhere I can get away with doing donuts. <laughs> uh, Joseph Blau, hello, Hellions. Uh, Nicole Flynn, happy birthday, Mr. France. Jen PB, talk about global warming. You have more snow than I do. We have green grass still, and a friend in Amarillo, Texas, has the same temp today of negative 12 Celsius it's with crazy. a wind chill of negative 17, as we do here in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. My goodness. Joe Poppenhagen, happy birthday to your dad. Woke up to a minus 34 degrees this morning. Eight days of this now in Bermidji, Minnesota. Bermidji. Bermidji. <laughs> I can't because my shoulder, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't burr. Burr. <laughs> Tony Fredrickson, happy weekend, Hellions, Wolf Spain Hollow. Uh, it's barely stopped snowing here since Wednesday, Wednesday night. We got about a foot and a half accumulation in the yard. I was planning on going grocery, making a grocery run, run today, but not going to wade through knee deep snow to do it. I don't blame you. I like getting out in it, but that's just me. <laughs> Joseph Blau. Happy birthday to Troy's dad. Happy Valentine's Day, too. The ladies in dialysis gave me a rose, a valentine with a sucker on it, and a giant bottle of hand sanitizer. <laughs> Sounds like a good gift. Ben Massey saw pictures of decent accumulation in Seattle, too. Yeah, we got approximately, I'd say, just general, like all over, average, a foot and a half in the Seattle-Tacoma area, yeah. from what we've heard. Um, K Bear Fuzzy Ears. It's melting right away, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's melting pretty quick. Uh, please stay safe with the ice and snow. And you talk about uh, Dallas Fort Worth and everything. And yeah, that's uh, something to. Uh, that was sad. Especially seeing some of those videos. It was just hellacious. Nicole Flynn, my parents live in Castle Rock, Washington, and we have 14 inches of snow. Wow. Uh, so there's your foot. Um, Halloween fur. Here I'm doing the um thing. I did that in my first videos, and I've tried to get away from it. Now that I said, um, 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 now I'm back into it again. Um, oh, ouch. Halloween first, supposed to start snowing here again today, and all next week. Okay, so what I said yesterday about the melting off, and it will eventually go away. It will eventually go away. It may not be as quickly as ours, but rest assured, we're all going to be complaining about how freaking hot it is pretty soon, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Ralph and Jason, I got my refresher Monday coming home from work on the freeway three or four different times. My rear end wanted to be out in front. Mm -hmm. I hate it when your oh. rear end wants to be out in front. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Okay. And, oh my gosh, you guys. 63 thumbs up on Dad's birthday vlog. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. Yeah, we watched a couple videos today, and it's, it's really sad to see the decline of somebody and if you guys have anybody that has um, Alzheimer's or dementia there's an awesome group on Facebook that you can join called Molly's movement um, I think actually somebody uh, recommended it to me or maybe I just stumbled across Isn't it, it Ed? Um, Ed Roberts maybe it might have been Ed but anyway it, it's an excellent group and it helps you uh, figure out what to do and answer questions and how to cope with it because it's not actually it's worse for the family than it is for the person going through it because the person going through it, they don't know a lot of things. And I actually think that's actually kind of a nice way to go, just slowly not knowing things. But it's also a little bit confusing and a little bit irritating. But 
as far as the family and everybody, it's so much, it, it puts such a huge toll on, on everybody that it is difficult to deal with. So your birthday wishes mean a lot. Jen PB, my husband scared the crap out of me by blowing out his candles on his cake the same way you did. I was totally freaked out. Mm -hmm. The cake was gorgeous, Angie. And I'm curious to know, since you guys don't get a lot of snow, how many times and what's the biggest snowstorm your dad ever had on his birthday? Um, wow. I honestly can't answer that because I don't know. But there's not many birthdays that I remember for him that we had snow. Maybe before, maybe after, but I don't remember many that we, we had snow. We know for a fact the last few haven't because we watched those today. Right, yeah, <laughs> the videos that we watched. Oh, Monica Bredesen, need a steeper hill. Yes, and I'm going to answer the question that so many of you guys have commented on. It wasn't a question, you've just commented on. I just didn't film it. Of course I waxed the sled rails. They were all <laughs> rusted up, they were nasty. I used a wire brush and then I used a file to file them down because they're they're concave like this. So it's hard to get into the center groove of them. And then yes, I used wax on them. So that was the best that it was but gonna get. It honestly get. wasn't much of a hill. No, no, it's not much of and a hill And then after all. we were driving home, just past that, there's a, a kind of a street over and down one or over and up. And it's got a much steeper hill. We should have gone there. Yeah. <laughs> Although it would have been really dark there. It would have been. But um, it, was, it was it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. It brought back so many childhood memories for me because yeah, it was it was amazing. And the Grinch, the sledding brings back uh, many memories. I have mm -hmm. the same kind of sled, and I also wax the rails. Good, <laughs> good for you. I've got to wax the rails. Uh, but yeah. Wax Rails, Rails, Flying Dutch Woman, uh, Joe R, happy birthday, Joseph Blau, happy birthday. I'm sorry there are some of you back there that also said happy birthday. I was going to read them all and then I'm not. Um, okay, Soap, Soap would have been a good one too. Judy Gillen said that. Um, Real Fan Jason, yes, the chickens, dogs, and I seem to be in agreement about the snow. Not interested. <laughs> Um, Tony Fredrickson, so today's vlog got me in the feels. Love you. Yeah, I I left a lot in yesterday that I normally wouldn't leave in just because I wanted to make sure that I documented it. And for me, because I don't I don't save any of the footage. Um, once it makes the video, all the footage from the day before is gone. I erase it all because I would have... Yeah, so much. It's it so, yeah. yeah, so much. So the video is the memory that I keep. So I wanted to make sure that I included that in there. Jets girl, your dad is such a sweet man and so humble. Happy birthday. See? That emotion <laughs> thing right there. You guys heard it in my voice. Yeah, he is. And it's sad to see him slowly slip, slip away. Um, uh, <laughs> Halloween for... Um, hope your dad had a happy birthday. My dad just turned 60 this last December. My mom is 55. But my mom still likes to go and do things. She says you only feel old if you let your age constantly remind you. Hmm. I had an old Vietnam War buddy that I used to work with that used to tell me you're as only you're only as old as you look, and you're not old till you quit looking. Such an old man saying. <laughs> I know, but it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, Van Nile NSX, you guys were like the Jamaican bobsled team on that hill. <laughs> Um, Ontario man, Troy, when you were talking to your dad, telling him, thanking him for having a great childhood, it brought tears to my eyes as I remembered mine. Um, also my dad passed in 2008 at the age of 79. Happy birthday to your dad and hope he has many more to come. Um, thank you. And, uh, oh yeah, the last comment with me saying, yes, oh. I waxed the rails. Did I spit? Yeah. Sorry. COVID is all over me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. That's it. Long video today. Thank you guys for joining us. Hope that you had a happy Valentine's Day, or if you're alone, a what, what, what do they call them? Well, there's a name for that, isn't there? There is. And if I were, if I were younger, I'd know what that name was. It's like, uh, like S? No. M Day? Valentine's Day? Palentine's Day? I'm going to go before I spit again. <laughs> Bye, guys. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>